absolutely. So HEB is a Silver Hammer sponsor uh, with uh, Habitat for Humanity today. So we were able to provide a $10,000 donation to Habitat to uh, help build this home. In addition to that, we're going to be participating in three HEB specific build days. Uh, November 8th, November 13th, and November 20th, where it'll be uh, HEB partners, our employees, and uh, Habitat uh, uh, staff uh, helping build the home. So we're all very, we're all looking very forward to that. If you look at HEB uh, throughout the state of Texas, uh, I think it, uh, every region has a partnership with Habitat for Humanity, where we're building homes. Uh, as a matter of fact, as an offshoot of that, we even uh, go so far as to uh, sometimes specifically target our veterans, our military veterans, to help build homes for them. I know a lot of them, uh, a lot of veterans need sp a very specific floor plan layout. So we kind of try to tie, tie all that together to make sure that they get uh, what they need. And so, uh, yes, definitely Habitat for Humanity really embodies everything that HEB uh, would, stands for when it comes to uh, uh, economic development for our, for our citizens, for our city. So we're here in uh, 520 North Texas and you see behind me some brand new houses. Uh, we want to congratulate the new families that, that are moving in. Uh, we're almost, we're done with the first one, almost done with the second one. It's a, uh, a partnership with, with Habitat uh, uh, for Humanity. We have volunteers that are building these houses. The city's part is that uh, we, we actually uh, donated these lots and we've been working with Ms. Sherwood for years now. This is the fifth house in my district. So, uh, you know, it's a big deal. We're building new houses. We're uh, 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 we're providing new housing for families in their neighborhood. And that's, uh, it creates a domino effect. You know, if you have a new house, then your neighbors are gonna uh, wanna fix up there. So uh, it's a big deal in our neighborhood. It's a big deal in district three. And uh, we keep on working for the people. Well, today we're very excited to announce a partnership between the City of Laredo, Habitat for Humanity, and HEB. Uh, we're having our groundbreaking ceremony today, and we're going to start building up the house next week with the help of volunteers from HEB. But today, what's very important is that it shows how the community has come together to help families, low-income families, now become homeowners. And so it's just a wonderful uh, showcase of the way that the community can come together to do more for our constituents. Of course, we encourage anybody who would like to make a donation to go by our, our office at 4703 Warehouse Lane, or you could also call at 956-724-3227. In Laredo and around the world, frankly, there's just not enough of housing that people can afford. People in Laredo, it is not uncommon for us to find three, sometimes four families living under one roof. And many of those families are hardworking. They just don't have the resources to buy a home. So with some unique partnerships and with wonderful volunteers, over 5,000 a year, we're able to come together as a community to build homes. Uh, sometimes we have public funds, sometimes land is donated to us. This land as well as the land here was donated through uh, Councilman Pettis helped us and we worked with community development and the city of Laredo gave us land. Uh, this land is worth, these lots are worth $35,000 each. If I add $35,000 into the cost of building a home, it becomes totally unaffordable for our families that we're trying to serve. All of the families of Habitat deserve that simple, decent, and affordable home. So we want to thank the councilman, and uh, especially you, because you have helped us so much in the, in the time that you've been in office. And I know soon you'll be going out, maybe we'll have somebody else there soon, but uh, it's really important that you know how, how special you are to our program. Our families may not know you, but I can promise you they appreciate what you, you have done for us, and we really do. And so if I don't get a chance to tell you that again, you. you are very much appreciated here. And you ladies from Community Development, um, I can't tell you how much Community Development works with us. Uh, it's not just land, sometimes it's expertise, sometimes it's technical advice, sometimes it's funds that they administrate that we, and in this particular home, and in this home, we're getting about $40,000. So when we put the land, the $40,000, and some other funds we have, we still have gaps of funding. 
and that's where our corporate partners and our private donations come in. And today it's HEV with $10,000, and I really want to thank you guys for, for that. And we look forward to building with you, <laughs> for sure. It takes everyone in the community to serve our families. Um, we all have, a, have an opportunity to serve God, I believe, uh, through certain programs, including Habitat for Humanity. We're by far not the only ones out here. But then we are the only ones building in the nonprofit sector, building the single family homes. We can't do that also without the cooperation of the people that we work with and the AmeriCorps program is huge with us. These gray shirts here, these young men and young women, uh, she, in fact, uh, Kimberly, David, they're both three-year AmeriCorps members. Kimberly is our lead construction AmeriCorps. She's in charge of making certain that the construction goes well out here working under Kuko. more than anything, they're going to be mentoring the family. Because this family, and I'm not going to give her name out yet because we're still signing some papers with her, but she's a single mom. And she's been dreaming of home ownership for a long time. And she has an 18-year-old daughter that we actually helped get into Laredo College, and a little one uh, that's 13. So this home means everything to her. And then she, has, she is actually a grandmother as well. So she's never had that security of home for her family and for a place to come home. And she told me she couldn't wait till she owned her own home so she could celebrate Thanksgiving. She won't celebrate this Thanksgiving here, but I can guarantee you she will next Thanksgiving. Here. She will definitely be here for Easter. So we all will work together. Um, I, Janie Santos here is our do everything lady. She is so integral from the moment a, a person walks into our house uh, into our house at Habitat looking for a home. Uh, she's, she mentors them, she counsels with them, we, we help literally hundreds of people a year. Uh, they don't necessarily get into Habitat but we're helping them with financial security and credit and uh, sometimes just offering them a little bit of advice so that they can find other programs that can help guide them. And then uh, Lizette Pettis, uh, who is in charge now, uh, and this is going to be interesting for AmeriCorps, she has just become the host site manager for AmeriCorps. Uh, Janie is going to be the administrator of that program, and Lizette is going to be our host site manager, but she's in charge of volunteers. She served three years with AmeriCorps, and she is going to just run with the program, and I'm sure of it. I look forward to that. And then, of course, we have Cindy Leando the commissioner, <laughs> who has been working with us now for three years, and but before that as a volunteer. And we look forward to continuing to work with her uh, through the end of the year. She'll be with us part time, but her heart will always be part of this family. And we know that she's going to do great things as a commissioner. And we expect her to be leading women bill. Uh, if she knows it or not, she's doing that this year. But um, I want to give people an opportunity to say something. Why are you here? What do you expect? What has been your experience? Because I think that's important. Sometimes I do all the talking and we don't know what's in your hearts and, and the reason that you're here. So if, if you'll permit me, I'm going to start with the, with the councilman, uh, Alex. I'll just say a few words. I just want to uh, I'll say thank you to Ms. Sherwood. She was always on me, you know, about uh, finding properties and uh, they have properties here, they have properties there. And we finally got some, uh, we got a few. I think this is our fourth project together, and uh, what you're doing here, you're making dreams come true. So I mean, uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. I want to thank all the volunteers and all the board members and and everybody involved. H E B. Uh, uh, thank you, guys. We hope that you all get rid of the plastic bags too. But uh, <laughs> that's that's something apart. But anyway, I'm I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, thank you. It's a, it's really an honor. If you could do uh, more of this, you know, it, it's such a a great addition to our neighborhood, to our district. Uh, it, it, it really, um, 
it instills pride in the neighborhood. You know, if somebody sees a house like this with nice grass, uh, what they want to do is do the same thing. So uh, it's a big deal for me to be involved. Uh, Cindy, thank you, Commissioner, for, for calling me and, and reminding me to, to be part of this again. Uh, but uh, thank you all. Thank the volunteers and thank you, Ms. Sherwood, for what you do. I really appreciate it. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you do. Thank you. Development uh, Department, and, um, and and I mean it's great working with Ms. Sherwood and Cindy and all the staff. I think throughout the last 10 years we've all gotten to know each other a lot, and we've actually <coughs> built a lot of these homes. And this was a great partnership that I, I was grateful because cost of construction keeps on going up, and and our funds sometimes keep on going coming down. So the way that the city partnered up with finding the, the land and then we were still able to put the construction money, I think was a great, great use of all our resources. And of course, the community is really going to uh, benefit from this. Yes. They're wonderful. Commissioner. <laughs> um, well, what can I say? As you all know, I love Habitat. It's been a blessing for me to be able to be part of this organization for the last uh, five years as a volunteer and then as an employee and just to see the difference that it makes in the families and in our community. As Councilmember Alex Perez mentioned, you know, just the pride that comes into these neighborhoods when they see that new homes are being built and they want to make improvements to their neighborhoods. And then I know that the council member has also uh, worked very hard when, when we were on the council together on bringing the neighborhood empowerment zone into the district. So that encourages families to build and not be taxed more and to save on fees. And so all of this put together really helps bring our neighborhoods back up and um, you'll just continue to see improvements down the street, I think, in the next couple of of weeks and months and years and so it really is has a great impact on our community and I just want to thank everybody for all of their hard work um, I've been able to see the hard work that the AmeriCorps does on a daily basis and they are just amazing Habitat has a wonderful staff hard-working staff but you know as we always tell everybody nothing is only done Miracles aren't made by one person or by one team. It's everybody coming together that make these dreams a reality. So thank you to the council member, the support of the entire city council, of course, the departments like community development and our corporate sponsors like HEB. Um, all of us coming together, we're able to do more. And so thank you all very much. Right. Um, it really takes a lot of folks to come together to make these things happen. Uh, it's in our culture at HEB to be part of the community, to go out and see what can be done. And um, sometimes it takes a lot of meetings and phone calls and back and forth and it's a yes and it might be a no and, and it's difficult. But when things come together and they line up, especially when you have a, a, a deserving organization like Habitat for Humanity, where all they care about and their goals are to get people into homes and to make life a little bit easier for for some folks that's something that you can't ignore so thank you to Carol and to the Habitat staff and team and if you guys are going to show us how to build I can't wait to go home and tell my wife that I helped build a house you know in a couple of weeks that's going to be pretty cool to say to the councilmen, to the city for helping us out and, and getting the land donated. To, uh, to to everybody that's been helping. I mean, it, it's it, these are what the moments. Uh, these are the moments that we really live for. I mean, we everybody's got a lot of things going on and life can be difficult, but to come together and do something like this and make life a little bit easier for a person, for a family, it makes it all worth it. So thank you guys, and we look forward to being here. And I know our partners are going to be really excited to come out here. Our the support's going to be great. So thank you. One of the um, things that I always tell people is we're not giving a house to a family. They're going to pay for their house. This particular family will put in 500 hours of sweat equity, and that's going to be their down payment. 
but more than anything, they will join another 145 other families who are in the Habitat program who will become taxpayers. And they will start giving back uh, their fair portion to helping their city grow and to continue to improve. This year, and this is something I hope that uh, Alex, you will appreciate, Habitat for Humanity just paid all the taxes for our homeowners uh, on their behalf. It was over $161,000. So we're doing our part in homeownership to bring money back into the communities. And um, of course, that's a com combined number, but it's, I think that's one of the best things that we say that our homeowners do. That and they come back to help us. And so if you guys don't mind, and those of you who would like to join, uh, the one person that I think and the one body that does more for us than any, anyone else is God. We exist. We are a faith-based organization. We exist because God tells us to help our neighbors in need. And if you don't mind, I'd like to offer a prayer uh, as we begin the process of bringing another family home. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity to serve you through Habitat for Humanity. We thank you, dear Lord, for the many families that come through our doors and for those who come to work with us. We ask your blessings, dear Lord, as we begin to build a home for a very deserving family. Be with us and make us, uh, keep us safe from harm and help us, help everyone who comes to work with us to understand the significance of their work. Be with those throughout the world that don't have a decent place to live or food on their table. Dear Lord, we ask you to bless this land and bless those who come upon it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. So, oh yay, guys. Oh, yay. Oh, yay.